This episode of D News is brought to you by Subaru. Hey, no touchy! Science says I'm allowed to have a stuffed animal. <laughs> Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Most of us had a thing growing up, a teddy bear or maybe a baby blanket, something we held on to while we slept or were scared. But why do we love these inanimate things? Science shows us why we place so much meaning in objects. British psychologist Donald Winnicott introduced the idea that these objects help us transition in some way. They ease the separation between mother and child. Babies don't see themselves as independent. They believe they're one and the same as their mother. As the mother starts to separate, this causes anxiety in the child. A bear or a blanket helps them self-soothe. I can't have my mom right now, but I have this. This helps. So maybe these objects help us transition from sleeping with our parents to sleeping alone. This theory has some evidence. More kids tend to have attachment objects in Western societies where kids sleep alone earlier than in Eastern countries where kids sleep with their parents through middle childhood. So why do we get so attached to things? There's an idea called essentialism. We tend to think objects have an essence, something we add to them, like the way we wouldn't wear a shirt of a murderer or feel strange when standing in a place where something bad happened. Scientists put this to test with little kids. A 2007 study published in the journal Cognition had kids put their beloved object into a special box that would replicate it. When asked if they wanted the new but identical object, many kids refused. They wanted their original thing. Maybe it's some kind of anthropomorphism at work. Some studies show that kids are natural anthropomorphizers, meaning they believe almost everything can think and feel like a person can. In one study from Bristol University, researchers show young kids two pictures, one of a living animal and one of a toy animal. The researchers told the kids stories in which the living animals responded with a feeling and the toy responded physically. The kids were asked how would your toy respond? Kids with no special attachment object or whose object had no face like a blanket said their toys would respond physically like the toy in the picture. Kids whose special toy had a face like a teddy bear said it would respond with thoughts and feelings. When I was a kid, I used to line up my stuffed animals on the bed and make sure none of them felt left out. And I may or may not still snuggle with a stuffed animal while I sleep. Do you still have your stuffed animal or security blanket too? Feel a little weird about it? Don't! Have no shame! A 2012 study published in the Journal of Adult Development showed that there's no connection between having a teddy bear and immaturity. In fact, a lot of people still have attachments to their beloved childhood objects. A 2010 study in the Journal of Cognition and Culture showed that many adults became stressed when they were asked to cut up a picture of their stuffed bear or blanket. In fact, having one might be a good thing for grown-ups. Separate studies out of Singapore and Amsterdam have found evidence that touching a teddy bear can ease feelings of social isolation, fears of death, and might even make you friendlier. So, do you still have your beloved childhood toy? You don't have to lie, let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back for new episodes of D News every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by Subaru.